All right, so here we have uh, RC in power uh, new motor. This is a GTS 2305 2450 kV motor. This was sent in by RC in power factory. Uh, so thank you for sending the, mo uh, the sample uh, motor so I can uh, uh, check out its performance and share result, uh, results with you guys. Uh, so I've tested uh, motors from RC in power before. Uh, it was the GT2205, uh, 2300, 2550 I believe it was, and 2700. Um, the videos are on my channel and uh, those came in, came out around the time the Emacs RS uh, the version 1 was out and it actually it actually did pretty well it uh, it matched and 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 did a little bit better than the than the original Emacs so that was a pretty good motor actually and uh, a lot of people uh, use it and they have told me that uh, it's been working great for them, uh, pretty good uh, durability and it just it's pretty pretty smooth overall motor so so that, that was that was a good motor so I was <coughs> I was pretty um, uh, pretty impressed with the quality of the motor. I didn't know about the company before that. So it comes in this box, a uh, nice uh, dense foam you can use that for something uh, mounting cameras or something so this one is a slightly different than bef than the other motors as you can see this uh, uh, this one comes with a, a PCB so it doesn't have uh, leads motor leads uh, so you would solder your motor leads there uh, and uh, of course they give you the uh, uh, a prop nut it's a nice uh, low profile nut that's kinda nice with the wide flange so that's a nice prop nut the motor shaft is made out of this uh, golden steel alloy uh, not sure what kind of alloy they, they're using or what advantages this uh, this type of alloy offers so if somebody knows uh, I'd like to know the this company uh, RC in power doesn't really do a good job at uh, marketing themselves so like I couldn't find any any like a really good spec sheet on the motor you know where they would tell you all the features so like something like this would be cool to know like what what material this actually is what ki what type of steel uh, but anyway so I really think that they they make uh, motors that are very comparable to to many of the other premium brands they incorporate a lot of the latest features that uh, premium motors have these days uh, you know they're the laminations on the stator are are thin. They're uh, they're 0.2 millimeters. Uh, on this particular motor, the the windings are single single wire strand, and they're they're pretty pretty neat as you can see. Uh, the stator is actually just slightly over five millimeters. Uh, it's, it looks like a it has like one extra lamination above five millimeters, so it's probably like five point two millimeters. So that that's good. It's just a little bit larger than five, and uh, the magnets are curved. Uh, you can more or less see right there. Uh, they do have these veins that are. This became uh, common on Emacs motors at the beginning, so now we see them in a lot of uh, quite a few motors ha ha are using them. So, so there's these veins that are supposed to move air through the motor as this rotates, and the shaft 
is it is hollow all the way through actually let's see that's uh what is that that's yeah it's like almost it's all the way through but it's got this cap right here on, at the bottom of the shaft uh, they use a standard standard C clip for retaining the shaft so uh, overall a uh, uh, pretty pretty well made motor uh, oh by the way this uh, this PCB uh, actually it, it it's it also serves as a stop for the mounting screw so so you it's good in a way so it you don't go through uh, with the screws and and hit the windings but you also have to be careful because if you if you tighten it too much and you go into the PCV and you're not careful you may end up uh, cracking it uh, this PCV is uh, somewhat uh, thin, so I, I don't know. It could be uh, easy to crack. Uh, not sure, but uh, anyway, that's something to keep an eye for. So, so once you feel some resistance, uh, it would be better to stop. And also, probably uh, good idea to use uh, some type of uh, low strength Loctite. Uh, so you don't you don't end up uh, cracking that PCV. I believe the purple Loctite is the good one. Um, tolerances also are pretty pretty tight. The shaft goes in pretty tight into the into the bearings. Uh, oh, uh, shaft is uh, it's it's four four millimeter shaft. So it, it goes in pretty tight. It, it, you really have to pull on this to to get it out. So so that's good. Uh, you know, the, there's it's tight. It, there's not gonna be any any wobbling there. So here's a close up of the uh, the bottom part of the motor, so you can see how tight the air gap is. Uh, by air gap uh, we mean the space between the face of the magnet and the face of the tooth of the stator so the smaller that gap is the more power a motor will be able to make so this one's pretty pretty tight pretty small air gap so that that'll that that'll turn into good performance and as far as weight, uh, these are actually pretty pretty good on weight. They're just just about 30 grams, I believe. Let's see, yeah, right, uh, 30 grams for the 2450, and slightly less for the 2750 because it's got less copper. 29.9. Uh, of course, that. There's no wires here, so when uh, most motors you weigh them with a short length of wire. So if you add wires, it probably adds uh, uh, I don't know a half a gram or something like that. So uh, so there you go. That's the uh, teardown and overview of the of these uh, new motors GTS uh, 2305. So now uh, we're going to put them on the thrust stand and see how these do. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see uh, it's going to be interesting to see how how this one performs being uh, 20 uh, 23 like being 23 millimeters uh, uh, on the di diameter and on and 5 on the stator uh, 23 by 5 so um, I'll be curious to see how how that performs in terms of uh, making power uh, making thrust with the uh, with both uh, 5 uh, inch uh, tri blades and also with the 6 inch uh, props 
uh, like a 6045 or a 6040. <laughs> 6040. Uh, so it'll be interesting to compare it to to other other motors. Uh, well, uh, let's look at the at the thrust test now. Alright, so here are the results for the thrust test, uh, RC in power, GTS 2305, 2450 kV motor. I was uh, quite curious to see how these uh, size format would uh, perform, and I have to say I'm, I'm pretty impressed uh, with uh, these pretty, pretty, pretty high numbers, pretty insane. Out of the 6040 prop, uh, we're getting uh, nearly 1900 grams. And uh, out of the 5040 by 3, almost almost 1500 grams. Uh, of course, uh, these uh, these numbers come at a, at a big cost as far as amps are co concerned. Uh, but that's on the static thrust test. Uh, don't let these high numbers uh, scare you. You know, uh, I always say you know the, this is uh, using a a power a dedicated power supply. Uh, which is able to maintain voltage uh, pretty constant throughout the through the test run. So, so you're not you're not going to see these numbers uh, in flight. Uh, uh, you know, with the with the battery pack, uh, a battery pack is not not going to be able to to sustain uh, basically. You know, in this case, uh, 120, 160, or even 200 amps for a long time uh, maybe for a very short bu burst maybe 100 120 amps but uh, not not for a long time uh, so on that six inch prop uh, there's no way it's gonna be able to supply uh, uh, that much uh, amperage uh, and again this is a uh, static thrust so when you're in flight uh, the the props are not going to be as loaded because you know there, there's moving air so uh, with moving air the props are not able to to grab as much air if you will uh, so the, the props are on load so it's it's going to be less load on the motor uh, but regardless uh, these uh, thrust tests are pretty useful you know to compare motor to motor especially if we keep uh, the same testing conditions we can see how a motor compares to uh, other motors uh, see which one has uh, more, more more power capacity more torque capacity and uh, this one certainly is uh, w up there with the best of them I that I've tested uh, so pretty pretty good motor uh, this this will be a, a pretty fun motor to to fly with uh, so there you go there you have it
that's the test and overview of the RC in power uh, GTS 2305 motor uh, this is from a company that's it's not very well known but uh, I think it's because they really haven't done a good job at marketing themselves but uh, they, they do make pretty pretty good stuff uh, so yeah, hope you find this uh, information useful and uh, I'll be testing the 2750 ver 2750 kV version of this motor pretty soon so keep an eye out for for that uh, for those tests uh, so keep checking and thanks for watching